You're watching KSHB 41 News, 2022 Emmy Award winner for overall excellence. Kansas City police say it's a crime that can happen in under a minute, and they've already seen catalytic converter thefts quadruple this year. We've seen thieves targeting auto shops, school campuses, and this week at a hotel near a hospital where the parents of a very sick boy are staying. KSHB 41 News reporter Grant Stevens joins us live. Grant, what a blow to families already dealing with sick loved ones. I know. Can you imagine both things happening at once? And imagine yourself how important that transportation is. No catalytic converter means no stable form of transportation. A big problem when you've got a kid getting treatment that you need to go constantly back and forth from. We're right now on Troost. And imagine thinking your best option was to run from here all the way to the hospital. That's what the dad said his best option would be if he got bad news. Were you worried at any point, you know, over the last two days that something would happen and you wouldn't have a car to be able to yes, go down there? Absolutely, absolutely. My son is at the end of the line right now. We just found out today that, uh, you know, his terminal diagnosis is coming up to its end. There's never a good time for catalytic converter theft. But for Joshua Hershenhofer, who's in KC while his nine-year-old son is in Children's Mercy, it's unbelievably bad. I can't just go to my son if they say, hey, you know, your kid's on his way out right now. I need you to get to the hospital. I need to be able to go back and forth at random, any time of the night, any time of the day. And unfortunately, it's not how it worked this week. Thefts like these are increasingly common, but Hershenhofer doesn't want people to just accept that. He'd like to see more resources go to the investigation and prevention of auto theft. We're supposed to be safe, and we're not. This city isn't safe. Tonight, his burden is eased just a little. Right after our interview, he was able to pick up his car, a new catalytic converter installed, giving him back the ability to be there for his son. And one last small bit of good news. When he went to go pick up his car, someone who wants to stay anonymous paid for that repair entirely. So just a small way of small silver lining in a really dark moment. Live in Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.